If you watched part one of this video series, you probably remember this shelf. If you didn't watch part one, you should probably go back and watch that before watching part two. Now I'm going to show you how I built the face frame and sprayed this with a nice factory finish. Before I build the face frame, I have to fill in a panel for this bottom portion of the shelf. It's not going to be a shelf, but just a blank panel that looks like a shaker style door. Just like when I hung the shelves inside the carcass, I attached a couple pieces of scrap ply to this to help it sit right in that opening. Then I could just tack it in place with 18 gauge brad nails. I'm not going to bother screwing this because it's not going to hold any weight. It's just going to be sitting in there. And it's also going to be secured in place by the face frame. After that was in, I ripped down a couple pieces of poplar that are going to be the height of the shelf. I used poplar because it paints really well. It's fairly inexpensive and I had a whole pile already milled down in the shop. I put them in place and I secured them with a couple clamps just to make sure they wouldn't move. Once I get both pieces clamped down, then I'll take measurements for all the horizontal pieces. With all my measurements taken, I go back over to the saw and cut everything down to width. Once everything is laid out, it's time to secure everything together. To link everything together, I use pocket screws. It's probably not necessary to put glue in there, but I did it anyway. With everything pocket screwed together, all I did was lay the face frame right on top of the carcass and secure it with a few brad nails. I then sanded everything down all the way to 220 grit. We're going to want a nice smooth base when we start applying our primer. When painting any type of cabinet, shelves included, I like to use bin shellac base primer. This goes on extremely smooth. And once you sand it down with 220 and do a second coat, it makes for a nice, durable underlayer. I use one of these attachments on my cordless drill and just make sure everything gets mixed thoroughly. If you look closely, the primer was yellow inside of the can, and as I mix it, it turns into a nice bright white. Unlike normal primers, this is shellac based. It's not latex or a PVA product, so you can't just clean it with paint thinner or mineral spirits. Once you're done, you need to clean everything with either denatured alcohol or ammonia. I prefer ammonia. That works better. I use a 50-50 mix of ammonia and water to clean all my tools and to run through my sprayer when I'm done. That way nothing clogs the lines. Once it's thoroughly mixed, I put my sprayer into the bucket and then I test for my pattern. You want to make sure you get a nice smooth pattern with no tails on either end. Do a test overlap to see how it's going to look when I spray. And once I feel like I got it dialed in, I go into the spray booth, aka my shop draped in plastic. It's always important to wear a mask when you're spraying, but especially with a shellac-based primer, 
it smells pretty bad and it's going to stink up my shop for about a week. Once I had the gun dialed in, I just started spraying and there's nothing to it. sprayer I'm using is a Graco X17. It's a good sprayer to use when you have to spray a lot of product. It can draft either out of a one gallon pail or a five gallon bucket. I'm using the stock Graco spray gun that came with a sprayer and I'm using a Rack X guard with a FFLP or fine finish low pressure tip. I believe the exact tip size for the primer was about a 412. I'll use an even finer tip when I spray the paint, but I want to make sure I get good thick coverage with the primer. After about 45 minutes, the first coat was dry and ready to sand. I always sand between coats, especially with the primer, because you want this to be the smoothest layer, especially if you're only doing one coat of paint. I have my orbital sander attached to my shop vac to keep the dust down, and I use a 220 grip paper. For some of the hard to reach areas inside the cabinet, I'll use a sanding sponge. Here I am spraying on the paint. I didn't think it was necessary to show you both layers of primer that I applied. It's probably not even necessary to show you this because it's pretty much me just spraying and spraying and spraying. But I'll show it anyway so you can see as I paint it the difference in the paint and the primer. The paint is a lot whiter and more vibrant. The paint I'm using for these built-ins and for all cabinets for that matter is Sherwin-Williams Emerald. The urethane cabinet and trim enamel. It's an alkyd based product, which means it acts like an oil, but it's actually water based. It's got about a four hour recoat time, but I'm only doing one coat. And here we have the finished product, 
all installed, painted with a super hard, super durable, beautiful looking white finish. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.